Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Morning English Podcast. My name is Peter Joseph Kuhn from Boston, Massachusetts, and I'll be your foreign host today. Hello, Peter. Welcome to the show. My name is Juan. 欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文 Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So without further ado, what will we be discussing today, Peter? We are going to decipher the letters on the elevator and what they actually mean. Ah,、uh, I have always been slightly confused at some of the letters. You know,、mm-hmm. after all, they're all derived from English, right? Ah,、uh, come on, your English is pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> but sometimes I still don't understand. You know, the letters like L G B stands for.、Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's get right into it. Okay. Firstly, in North America, at least the first floor is the floor at the ground level, and floor above it is the second floor. 哦、oh, ，在美国，美国人比较实诚啊，所以大部分楼层里面呢，这个第一层就是 first floor，、mm-hmm. 那上面就是第二层，就是就是 second floor， 对吧 ？Right,、mm. but sometimes in China I see ground floor and then first floor sometimes. So I,、mm. I know it can be confusing. Yeah. On some buildings, floors below ground floor are usually marked as B for basement.、Mm. Also, the first floor can also have a G, as in ground floor. Ah.、Uh-huh. Sometimes G can even be G F for、mm. ground floor. Yeah. 所以有的时候我们在电梯里面看到这个 B 层，实际上这个 B 是 short for basement，、mm-hmm. 所以它就是地下室的意思，对吧？所以 B E 就是地下一层 ，B 二就是地下二层这样子。Mm-hmm. 然后呢 ，ground floor is actually like British English, right? Mm, not exactly. 不是的，是吗 ？Mm, could be both. Okay. 所以有些那可能有些美国人也会这么说啊。所以和我家小区是一样的。所以一层呢，它是基层。那真的二层呢，它就叫做 first floor 了。嗯嗯。So also there may be an L G. Which stands for lower ground,、mm. which is an extra ground floor below the main ground floor. <laughs> Maybe this might be the case if the building is built like on a mountain.、Uh-huh. There can even be LG one and LG two. Yeah, this can be seen in a lot of shopping malls. Ah, yes, exactly.、Mm. So LG is lower ground, so in the bottom half of the ground, it's called LG. Right. Hmm. That, of course, will have a. Yeah. On the contrary, there、yeah. can be a UG,、yeah. which stands for upper ground,、mm. which you guessed it means an extra ground floor above the main ground floor. This I have never seen UG. Have you seen it?、Uh, I've it? seen it before. Yeah. Ah,、uh, so UG is upper ground, so it's the ground floor of the top level, right? Exactly. One LG, one UG. Yeah,、mm. you got it. And sometimes instead of G, there is an L.、Oh. This L stands for lobby or level.、Mm. This is usually the case for hotels or department stores. Yes. Very rarely the L refers to lower floor. Ah,、uh, so in the most common case, this L is actually the meaning of the lobby in the hotel, the lobby, the lobby, the lobby, the lobby. Where you can do the check in and check out,、mm-hmm. 对吧？我还看过一个就是 M 层，你见过吗？嗯哼，嗯，那 M 层是什么意思 ？That stands actually, it's an Italian word. It stands for mezzanine. Mezzanine. The, How do you spell it? M e z z a n i n e. Ah,、uh, mezzanine, right? Correct.、Mm. The M floor is usually above the ground floor and is a place that might have like a lounge or even a stage.、Oh. This is usually the case for hotels. Ah,、oh, 这也是宾馆里面比较。常见的一个词哈，在、like、fancy hotel 哦、oh, ，like a fancy hotel 比较高档的、高级的一个酒店里面的词，所以它在基层楼上有的时候会有一个这个休息室，所以甚至是一个舞台，就是 mezzanine。嗯哼，嗯。Another common letter is P, which stands for parking. 嗯、mm-hmm. ，and there can be P one or P two or P three. 啊，最后一个就是 P， 大家就非常熟悉了，停车场，对吧、mm-hmm. ？So well. Um, in British English, people do not use the word floor that often, right? That's correct.、Oh, so that is、use? known as a story,、oh, or story. In, let's just say Europe in general. Europe in general. Yeah,、okay. the Europe elevator button scheme is a little different.、Mm. So, like I said, the first floor is also known as first story. Ah.、Oh. And actually, it is a level above the ground level. Ah.、Oh. The、mm. floor at ground level. Is usually might be called zero,、mm. or substituted by the first letter of、mm. the local language word for G.、Uh. For example, in Britain, it,、oh, I'm sorry, word for ground. For example, in Britain, it would be G for ground,、mm. and in German, 
Germany, it would be E, because oh. in German, the word for ground is Erdexerslosh. <laughs> <laughs> you can speak German? Uh, that was uh, not a very good pronunciation. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> okay, 好，是这样，就是在很多就是这个欧洲国家的话呢，它可能就是一层的话，它就不叫做一层，它叫做零楼，对吧？嗯。然后呢，它有的时候它就是像这个 ground floor 一样，它叫做 ground， 但是在德文里面，比如说它就这个 ground 的这个词，它本身是一个一开头的一个字，所以它的这个一。层就叫做 e e 字母 e 的这个 e 层，对吧 ？Right. 嗯。Lastly, some elevators may have an a. This stands for the word additional. For example, there may be a three a. This means that there is an additional third floor or a split level.、Oh. So it is also used to depict an apartment floor.、Mm. So sometimes it can be used as a replacement for unlucky floor numbers.、Oh. For example, in America, the number thirteen is unlucky.、Mm. Just like how China, the number four is unlucky.、Oh. There may be twelve and twelve a. And then fourteen,、oh. rather than the floor thirteen.、Oh. <laughs> Interesting, right? <laughs> 很迷信啊。Yeah. 所以为了避免这个，就是西方人觉得十三这个数字就不是很吉利嘛，所以他就会是十二和十二 A 楼，然后十四楼，对吧？就像中国一样，就是很多楼层会避免这种什么四呀、十八呀这种数字 ，unlucky. 嗯哼。所以他们就会 ，you know, superstitions. Yeah, silly superstitions all over the world. Actually, it's very, very, very interesting. 是的，很有意思啊。Sure. 那今天的节目呢？就到这里啦。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Okay, see you guys next time on the Morning English podcast. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye bye.